Hey there, so I was sent this, the Marsback GameSir mobile controller to take a look at, unbox, review, etc, etc. Uh, but mainly because I know this is a video on a product for that that's on Indiegogo trying to raise $5,000. I want to be upfront with you and tell you that this is hot garbage. This is honestly uh, awful. It doesn't work with most games I've tried. Uh, there's input lag. The emulator outright doesn't work. I, I mentioned it not working with Mario and the video itself. I've not been able to get work with many things and it's kind of terrible. And I, I think that's why at the end of this video, I just ended up screwing around at an actual arcade. So I, I wanted to be upfront about this. And this was sent to me to take a look at and I can't in good conscience recommend that. So with that said, I'm recording this after I've gone through everything, uh, you know, unboxing, tearing down, etc., etc., uh, involving this little mobile controller. So uh, if you want to see more of it and maybe see what makes this terrible little thing tick, keep watching. Flashback. So let's talk about mini arcade cabinets or controllers that are meant to replicate the feel of an arcade machine. Now I'm not talking about like the stuff that you see used with fighting games like Evo and whatnot every year. I'm talking about stuff that's made to really try to replicate the look and feel of an arcade cabinet. And this isn't a new concept. Years ago for an old iPad 2 that I actually still have hooked up to an old iPad 2, there was a thing released called the IK, which though only compatible with some apps, namely uh, most of the Neo Geo apps and uh, a lot of other arcade releases such as an Atari app, it had a full clicky joystick arcade style buttons and could handle an iPad in either uh, landscape or portrait mode. There have been other attempts at bringing this to mobile and tablets as well. There have also been tons of attempts, especially in the past couple years, to try to bring kind of the arcade experience to the home. In fact, I actually have a little one right here that was given to me by my mom that's pretty much just a NES clone with a bunch of games loaded onto it, but you know, very tiny, compact, very cool. What we're talking about today is something yeah, a little different, but a little bit of the same. What we're talking about is the game, sir, Marsback which is a controller for smartphones that's supposed to bring their arcade experience in a tiny smartphone sized package. So should you buy or rather back on Indiegogo the game Sir Mars back in 2019? Well that's what we're going to find on today's video as we unbox it, review it, and compare it to various other mini arcade products and indeed actual arcade machines. So welcome to Stuff We Play, home of everything weird and retro. If that sounds cool to you, why not subscribe? And today, we're actually beginning the video by doing something I haven't done in quite a while, and that's an unboxing. So let's get right into it. So let's get right into unboxing this. Uh, man, my first unboxing forever. I kind of wish I had a bigger table, but this will do for now. Now, one thing I should make completely just, uh, you know, on the record, and let it be known, uh, this unit was sent to me by GameSir themselves. It was kind of odd actually, it was shipped via DHL but then Canada Post delivered it and as always uh, Canada Post did a uh, questionable job. But regardless, uh, the item itself was actually really well packaged. Uh, it came in this box which as you can see doesn't have my address on it. Uh, which was actually inside an even bigger padded DHL box. So very well packaged so already you know some major points on there so let's go ahead and let's open this up be very careful always cut away from yourselves kids and there we go gonna put my knife away and here we go so inside we have bubble wrap my favorite Here's what else inside. Looks like just, uh, is that another bot? Well, first things first. I love me some bubble wrap. And it actually looks like it opened upside down, but that's okay because uh, inside the box, there was another box. So this is a game sir box. So we had a um, box 
protected and put inside another box that was then further put inside a uh, padded envelope that borderline the box. box so, interesting. So let's go ahead and open this up. It doesn't look like there's going to be any more uh, tape or stuff to remove. So uh, let's just throw that over there. So as we can see, if just send this to the side, if we look on the box, on the top it says Game Sir Mars Back. Uh, it has the Mars Back logo and a picture of Yoon on this side. Very cool looking. Though for some reason the logo reminds me of, uh, what was that, 3D Space Pinball? You know that game that used to be loaded onto PCs? Uh, very nice checker pattern over here. A design on the side that shows that you can use it in either landscape or portrait mode with your phone. Seems pretty neat. So we open it up and then we get uh, this little thing, an actual Game Sir Mini Arcade user manual. Uh, so many items nowadays just don't even come with manuals and the fact that this does uh, is nice though if you look on the back it actually has uh, QR codes and yeah it just shows you how to connect it via Bluetooth charge it etc good stuff good stuff game sir and then uh, by using this easy plastic holder we can pull it out and you know what this feels actually quite hefty and oh I guess I was wrong about being charged it looks like it just takes uh batteries what type of battery oh it takes uh two double a batteries neat this joystick it's odd it, it feels like a full analog joystick it feels like it has a really wide angle of rotation but also like it's not necessarily bad for 3d games though uh Something tells me that that might be a little problematic with 2D games. Start and select button, which are a little stiff, and some actually rather nice feeling um, face buttons. I'm guessing these are mappable if you're playing an NES style game, you know. Uh, and then we actually have the, fo the holder for your phone itself, which can either uh, extend out like so, or uh, I guess to prop it up landscape or you know your phone can just slot in their portrait so for example uh here's my samsung galaxy s6 why galaxy s6 because i'm in university and can't afford anything better and uh ah that might be a, a little thick give me a second so my galaxy s6 in an otter box is a little uh too thick but i mean it's an otter box what do you expect but if you slot it in like that it just kind of goes in uh, neatly. I should mention there's nothing really holding it there besides, uh, you know, a uh, slant behind it. So if you're like me and you get iffy about positioning things, you know, yeah, that's fine. Then I guess if you raise this up, you can then just put it like that. And it, that that's it. So I'm excited to try this out. Uh, there are some games that was recommended me to try this with. In addition to some emulators I have loaded on my phone, and I will report back with my thoughts on the product itself. Two hours later. Hey all, so it's not been a full day, and I'm in the same position as before because we're about to pull a spawn wave. I have tried to test this out, but in the past two hours I've gotten nothing but issues. Most notably, uh, here, here's their Happy Chick emulator, which very shady by the way. Both this and the app to actually sync uh, the Marsback Gamesir thing to your phone is actually downloaded via those QR codes in the manual and is actually downloaded from their personal website, not the Android App Store. And they really want some weird info. Like they want to look at your text, your location, this is, remember, this is a thing for emulating old games. Though it can't exactly do that well. Here we have uh, just a pretty basic version of Super Mario Brothers. Let's start that. Uh, it gives you some weird options. Okay, sure, single player. And there we go, that's Super Mario Brothers, uh, an emulated NES version. Oh, Happy Chick has stopped working, great. But anyways, uh, we click on this to pair the, the controller to it and it does that now i've tried some other games as well um uh, most notably is my personal favorite game on android which is sonic cd christian whitehead's 
uh, 2011 version. And that one I chose because not only is it a great Sonic game with great fast 2D platforming, but it also has 3D special stages. They were pseudo 3D in the original one, this one they're more or less operating full 3D. And those special stages actually felt pretty good on this. It's a full analog joystick, unlike this one on this Famiclone cabinet over here. And it felt really good in that 3D space, and indeed most 3D situations where I tried it. The bigger issue comes with the buttons. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but when you press these one button, it actually slightly presses down all the other buttons as well. Uh, yeah, there is a full second of input lag, no matter, uh, in, in Sonic CD. Uh, and I don't know about the other Sonic games didn't try it, but I know there's at least some minor lag in other games as well. And it's real problematic. It makes them borderline um, unplayable. And now my biggest issue as well is that in order to get this to work, you can't use your own apps, which this is a particular problem in the aforementioned Sonic CD where I have paid for the adless version of the game. Uh, but you have to do it through GameSir's app. And it's just all problematic. Uh, I also had issues just getting the thing to pair. For example, to, to get to pair, you're supposed to be able just to put batteries in it, hold start, the button will, uh, this light right here will light up. That shows you can pair it over Bluetooth. The light in mine doesn't work. And the two AA batteries that came inside it were dead on arrival. Uh, at the end of it as well, perhaps the most shocking part of all of this was that Happy Chick emulator. Because there are games that I know my phone can run fine, uh, like Mario 64 and whatnot, that just, I, I couldn't get to work. Games like that Mario just showed where it just glitches out my phone or what up, not, and, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of scary, honestly. But one thing that was also interesting is uh, my friend Rose, who's appeared in a few videos, such as my Hyrule Wars video I did last year, came by and took a look at it, and along with having made the same gripes as me, point out some interesting things. Though it feels pretty nice, is probably using some pretty outdated technology. And keep that in mind, as this is currently on Indiegogo. Input lag is probably caused by using an older version of Bluetooth. That's right, it is not up to date on its Bluetooth connectivity. In addition, apparently GameSir themselves is actually known for creating, uh, I guess, uh, dubiously uh, built controllers and whatnot for mobile. Most famously, actually, a keyboard mouse setup for Fortnite on iOS, which, while cool at the time, uh, apparently doesn't even work anymore uh, if, if you have it updated to the newest version. Also, funnily enough, though, we realize that actually uh, on the Mars back, there's a notice telling you, please do not open it up. So we're going to do just that right here, right now. So here are those batteries out. Nothing right there. I'm going to move this cabinet out over here. And then I'm assuming, like with most uh, things like this, the rubber feet are just concealing screws. Let's see. It looks like the, these feet are just held on with some sort of general adhesive. There we go. Let's put our screwdrivers to the side and let's see what's in this thing. That's just a battery compartment down here and it's connected via this wire. Seems to be just a very basic job right there. So after disconnecting that, it looks like we have quite a few more screws to go. So after a bit of work, I managed to get the next four screws out. And as such, we can now get rid of the main housing. Now, only four of them were actually for the main board. Ugh. And there we go. That, th that's it. That's it. And this is the main board for the game, sir. Curiously enough, it is, as expected, a full analog joystick. In fact, it looks like, wow, it is really attached to that. But also, interestingly enough, is uh, these buttons right here, which instead of being buttons are actual 
Like, they're connected to one another. This is one solid piece right here. That's weird. And I guess the same can be said of uh, the start and select button, which again are one solid piece. That's very, very odd. This main piece, it looks like, um, I don't think we can go any farther from here without breaking anything because I do want to be able to put this back together. Let's remove this right here. Oh, oh no, we can't remove that. It seems to be glued on in several places. Interesting. Oh, so interesting. You can say, see, I guess is the, the real name of this board, which is the LBA 970. VLO uh, with uh, a production date of 2018 uh, 1108 which out curiosity does China use more of the American style of dates or the uh, more I guess uh, worldwide style of dates uh, but yeah look at that board that is full analog but man they could have chosen a better stick or better yet a d-pad and as we can see there really isn't much to it this is the entire thing this is the main enclosure by itself. It's really not that big. But I think there's something more we can do with the game, sir, because with the game, sir, Mars back. Because already, as you can tell, my thoughts on this is that it's not worth your time and money, and that honestly, uh, it might actually potentially do harm to your phone. Especially since I briefly took a break to try out Happy Chick again after. Uh, you know, resetting my phone, I don't know. I, I got a couple games to work, mainly Mega Man, uh, the original one, and it just started getting really, really hot while I was playing. So yeah, I definitely don't think you should buy this. But what do other people think? Well, we're gonna go out around Victoria, BC, get a few thoughts, and even compare it to a real arcade machine. I can't reiterate this enough. GameSir's Mars Back Arcade Controller for smartphones is terrible. And actually, upon checking with some other YouTubers as well, it seems that uh, it's not actually fully iPhone compatible. Uh, like a, one one YouTuber I know, Smash JT, actually apparently just flat out couldn't get it to work with his. Uh, I think it's an iPhone Exias. When it comes to like these more modern arcade takes, the only one that's really kind of come close to match an arcade experience is the arcade one-up cabinets because they're literally just tiny arcade cabinets but of course the best way to always play arcade machines or arcade games is on the real original hardware so thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe potentially back us on patreon if you're so inclined and if you want to hear about something else that many people have regrets about backing on kickstarter or indiegogo since uh yeah, if you backed the game Star Mars back on Indiegogo, I'd probably cancel that if I were you. Uh, I have a documentary on Mighty Number no. 9 coming out soon. If it's already out, definitely go check that out on the end screen. So with that, let's play some Galaga. Well, alright, well, you, we can cut it there. <laughs> <laughs>